today we're going to be looking at how to pray for our homes. Uh, maybe you've just moved into a new home and you would like to invite God into this new chapter in your life and bless this new home that you have. So today we'll be looking at some areas and different ways in which you can do that and giving you some tips on how to bless your home. <music> homes are very significant places of shelter, of provision, of growth, of sanctuary and so it's very important that at every stage in our lives that we commit our homes to God and ask for the Holy Spirit to come and move and bless the places in which we live. It's not about bricks or clay or mortar or wood, it's about relationships, it's about comfort, it's about growth, it's about change. Today I'm going to give you uh, a few ways in which I have uh, prayed for the different homes that I have lived in at different times and at different seasons and hopefully these will be helpful for you. So the first one is uh, what you might naturally do. Uh, when you've finally moved into that house that you've been hoping to move into. Um, and a lovely thing to do is to gather together your community, whoever that is for you, family, friends, your church community, gather them into your home and pray for that home. Um, I've got a sheet here which is all about that, house blessing gathering. And so this is how I recommend that you do it, but you'll find your own ways, I'm sure, and it will work its own way through. So the first thing I would suggest is that you uh, gather together and that you ask someone to ask the person that's moved into the house, either that be you or someone else, about their hopes and their dreams for that place, for that home. Remember to, to listen, remember to take in what they're saying, ask questions off the back of what they say. And secondly, ask as well if there's any worries they have about that new home, any concerns, any transitions that will be difficult for themselves or a member of their family. And take those into account as well. The second thing to do is to split up into twos or threes. And uh, make sure before people arrive that you've placed some paper in each of your rooms. And a lovely thing to do is to send people off around the house praying in different directions and uh, ask them to write down significant scriptures that come to mind, significant pictures, significant prayers for specific individuals in the family that come into mind were in those the specific rooms that they're praying in. You want to give people a nice good amount of time to do this and ask people to be really aware of the Holy Spirit, be aware of the prompting of the Spirit. Um, it might be that as you go round that God leads you to uh, place something within that room which represents something. So it could either be moving something from one room to another, like a vase of flowers. It could be that uh, you actually write a scripture out that's intended to stay in that room. But also blessing the fabric of the room can be a lovely thing to do. And lastly, gather everyone back together um, in the largest room and then share together so that those who are going to be living in the home really hear the feedback of those people who have been praying and then stand and pray with that family, pray with those people about that new home. I can't emphasise the importance of this. Remember that where we walk is holy ground and when we invite the Holy Spirit in to any situation, he will move and he will bless um, that building, he will bless that space, that environment and it's very much that the old goes out and that the new comes in. When you move into a new property, God comes with you. So the second thing that I might suggest to you is if you've been living in a property for a while um, but there's been maybe some significant life um, things which have happened 
it might be that there's been huge change or transition, it might be that there's been trauma, there's been grief, it might be that there's been conflict in that home, it might be that there's been someone who's been having bad dreams or nightmares, whatever it is that leads you to feel concerned, um, it's very, very important to go to that house, actually physically go to the house of the people that are dealing with these things and pray. Um, a lovely thing to do is to take some oil. If you haven't got oil, you can use water. Um, and I think that the entrances and the exits of the house, the windows, the doors, are very important places because it's about what comes in and it's also about what you're pushing out. So as you walk around the house and pray, pray in through those doors and those windows, God's presence, his peace, his love, his security, his hope. And as you do so, pray out the things that have been happening, the trauma, the fear, the instability, the tears, the, the sadness, the things that actually have remained a difficulty within that home, within that family, and you pray those things out. And once you've done that, you make the sign of the cross on the mantle of the door or on the window. It's a seal and it's a reminder that the Holy Spirit is with us and he does watch our boundaries. He promises that our boundaries will be ones where he will guard and that there will be peace. So we come with that authority. The last thing that I want to suggest um, is for those of you who have maybe a more transient life. I went through seasons like this when I was a student um, and sometimes our home is not one place, it's multiple places. And it's very important that we hold on to God's blessing for us and that we lay that down in each place that we find ourselves sleeping. So what I would suggest is that you, you have a, a blessing, either a, a blessing written out, or it can be scriptures, it can be a prayer written out about the home. And, you know, take this with you. Um, this is something that someone wrote out for me when I was a student. Um, there's a little letter on the back and there's the scriptures. And it was very important carrying things that like this around with me. So take it with you and remember when you come to a new um, hostel or an, a new lodgings or if you're travelling across different countries, a new country or a new place, you lay out this blessing within the home when you first walk in and you pray, you pray these things into the home. Prayers are significant and God will honour those prayers. So... Um, I hope that gives you some ideas of ways in which uh, you can pray for your home. If you're finding these little films helpful and you want to find more resources about house blessing prayers, do look on the website, there will be some there. And if you haven't subscribed, please do, um, because we would love to hear from you and to connect with you. But until we meet again, may God hold you in the palm of his hand. Thank you.